Hello everyone, and welcome to a very brief Inside the Vault Fallout 76 news update video. Wow, look at those keywords I just threw in at the front, aren't they great? So, if you watched my previous video, you'll already know we have a Wastelanders release date, April 7th. You'll also know I forget the news quite often because I thought Cyberpunk was coming out a week later. It's not, Cyberpunk was delayed till September, but April, Wastelanders is coming out. In this latest Inside the Vault article, they honestly just recap a lot of the stuff, but there's a couple of bits of news that I do want to go over just so you're all informed. The first, and most important, is that there's going to be another Purveyor special event coming next week. It's just another mystery pick. For those who haven't indulged in the mystery pick before, you'll be able to go to the Purveyor, spend 60 legendary script, and you'll get a completely random freestyle legendary item. Could be a ranged weapon, could be a melee weapon, could be a piece of armour. If you're someone who's just after any good freestyles, this is a good event. If you're looking for like a specific free star armor piece or specific free star ranged weapon specifically, not so great, but you know, this is better than nothing. So this event will be starting at 12 p.m. Eastern time on February 13th, so that is just six days away from the time this uploads, and it ends on 12 p.m. Eastern time February 17th. So that's five days, that is literally from next Thursday and then finishes next Monday. So you've got an extended weekend, essentially, to just trade in some legendary items. I'll be doing it, I'll likely have a little video up a day or two afterwards of all my legendary items I sold, and if I had any success. So look forward to that in a couple of weeks time, I guess. Anyhow, that's the important news topic. Yeah, I told you this is gonna be brief. The other part is we got told a couple of days ago that Fallout 76 will also be launching on Steam on April 7th. And there's been a whole bunch of questions about that, and in the Inside the Vault article, they answer some of them. I will say I'm not 100% happy with all of the answers, not because of what they entail, but what they don't clear up 100%. So I'm just going to go through their questions, go through the answers, and go through any concerns I have about them. And this is for a PC, it seems, although we'll get onto it. Okay, so first question, will my current characters and progress carry over if I purchase Fallout 76 on Steam? Answer that's given? Yes, we know you've put a lot of time and effort into completing quests, finding the perfect gear, and making your character uniquely you. Your character's progress and items will all be available to you whether you play Fallout 76 through the Bethesda.net launcher or Steam. The thing I don't like about this is they're not saying anything about console players, and from the reading of that last line, whether you play through the Bethesda.net launcher or through Steam, it sounds like it's just PC players, but I I have no doubt a lot of console players will then think, oh if I purchase the game on Steam on this nice new gaming PC I got for Christmas, or anything like that, then they might think, oh my progress will transfer over, whereas that isn't technically guaranteed in the answer so much I don't think. I'm not 100% sure though, so if you're a PC player, and you've been playing Fallout 76, and you decide you want to buy it again on Steam, then your characters will be the same, so that's great. If you're a console player though, I don't think the progress will be on Steam. From the reading of that, I could be wrong, it'd be nice if I was wrong, but this answer is not clear enough for console players as well as PC. PC, your characters will be the same on Steam or the launcher. Console, don't count on it just yet. Next question. Will my Atoms or Fallout First membership carry over to Fallout 76 on Steam? The official answer? No. Your Atom balance and Fallout First membership on one platform will not transfer when you play on the other. However, any items you unlock in the Atomic Shop will be available to you through Steam or Bethesda Net Launcher. So what this basically means is, if you decide to purchase the game on Steam as well as on the Launcher, then you don't start up with the normal amount of atoms you'd have on the launcher, and if you've got Fallout First membership already, you won't be there when you have Steam, but any of the items you've purchased will be there, so it's a weird one, because essentially if you do really want to go over to Steam, you could just spend all your atoms, purchase the things you want through the Bethesda Net launcher, then go over to Steam, and your items are all there, and your atoms have essentially just been converted into whatever you wanted. So that's a way to kind of get around it as such, 
But if you're a Fallout First member, then you'd have to cancel membership with Bethesda not in there, and then start up a new one on your Steam account. It's very weird. So, next part. Question, can players who log into the Bethesda.net and Steam versions of Fallout 76 play together? Official answer, yes. As long as you're playing Fallout 76 on PC, you'll be able to play with other PC players in all game modes, whether they choose to play through Steam or Bethesda.net. That one's nice and simple. All PC players are together. That's good. I have no issue with that at all. Next question. Do I need a Bethesda.net account to play Fallout 76 on Steam? Official answer. Yes! When you launch a game through Steam for the first time, you will be prompted to log in using your Bethesda.net account details. You will then log into that account automatically the next time you launch the game. If you already play Fallout 76 on Bethesda.net, make sure to sign in using that account to access your current characters and progress. Okay, so you've still got to have the Bethesda.net account. You're just not clicking on the Bethesda launcher, you're clicking on Steam instead. That seems to be the only difference. And Here's kind of a kicker to it all. Question, will I get access to Fallout 76 on Steam if I already own it on Bethesda.net? Answer, no. While your progress and Atomic Shop purchases will carry over across both Bethesda.net and Steam, you must own Fallout 76 on Steam in order to play using that platform. Basically, if you already own Fallout 76 on PC, it seems there is no reason to get it on Steam. You'd have to buy the game again, you wouldn't have Atoms or First Membership if you've got that, and it's going to be exactly the same as it already is on Bethesda.net. This, the Steam release is only for people who have not purchased the game on PC and want to play specifically on PC, and don't want to use Bethesda's launcher. Honestly, I think it's for a really niche group, and the reason they're coinciding it with Wastelanders is because they're hoping for a whole bunch more people to show up, and just putting it on Steam is going to be a bit easier. So, yeah, honestly, if you already own the game on PC, I would not advise buying it on Steam, because you'd just be buying the game twice. If you don't own the game yet, and you're waiting for April 7th for Wastelanders and want to get it on PC then, then you can purchase it through Steam. Otherwise, don't worry about it. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Just wanted to go over all of that. Don't forget about the Purveyor Mystery Pick event from the 13th to the 17th. Other than that though, make sure you have subscribed and clicked the notification bell so you stay up to date on all things Fallout 76, give the video a like if you enjoyed, and feel free to tell people about my channel. If you know people who are like, man, I don't know what's going on with 76, just send them my way, I try and keep you all informed. As always, I want to thank you all very much for watching. Sergeant.